I'm back, bitches. Hey, 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 hey. Grrr, bop, bop, bop. Back in this bitch like I ain't never left. Fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? It's Naisha Minks. Um, so I know I've been gone a long time, and I promise you I have a reason. Now, the reasons may not be the best reasons, but here I am anyway. I mean, I don't know if y'all miss me, but I don't really care because y'all niggas been walling out here in these streets without me. Like, so a lot has happened. Um, one reason why I haven't been around is because I was in between jobs for a long time. I was like without a job for a while. If y'all hear any noise, those are my cats. They're fighting. Of course, they're fighting now when I'm trying to record this video. Anyways, so I was in between jobs for a while and I didn't have a job, like, and I was feeling really down and depressed since my grandmother passed. I didn't feel any passion, any motivation, like, it just died down. Um, and I was, like, worried about, like, financial things. And I really should have been using my platform as a way of therapy for myself, as a way to, like, talk it through and, like, get my ideas out there. But your girl was depressed. She was in here crying, like, crying, not knowing what the fuck to do with herself. Like, shit was hard. Initially, um, when I first got back into working, I was teaching. I hated that shit. That shit sucked. Um, I taught for about two years. I taught second grade, and then I taught third and fourth science my second year, and then I left halfway through the year because, like, I was mad depressed. I was getting up mad early every single day. Um, the commute was not the best. I was very depressed because I was working at a charter school, and I'm sure y'all can guess which one, and it was really, like, really deteriorating my brain like I really couldn't do it it was a lot of workload they wanted me to like also do a college program like grade papers doing all this stuff I couldn't get with that that shit was like blowing my OD so after I quit teaching I went back into early child care and when I tell you that shit had me tired 8 a.m. shifts all the way in the city 7 30 a.m. shifts in the city bro like talk about a commute like I know they say that New York trains is the best, but if y'all live in New York and y'all know what's up, like, these trains is ass. Like, you can't get nowhere, bro. And they be packed out. I don't like to be on no packed train. Everybody touching me all up on me, breathing on me. I, I don't like that shit. And then when I was working there, I was working in the infant room. I was working as a substitute teacher. Girl, I had four babies at one time. And, like, the thing about working in the infant room is that they all different ages. Like, you could have a kid that just started walking, and you could also have a four-month-old. Like, how am I supposed to protect this four-month-old from this kid stomping around in shoes and shit? Oh my god, that shit was a mess. Like, I couldn't do it. And on top of that, I was not getting paid. Like, I was not getting paid no breach. Like, I was barely making ends meet. Like, that shit had to go. Then I got hired at the job that I'm working at now, which I like a lot. But I'm still not making enough money. But, like, as of right now, what I'm doing, to Make it enough. I had stopped making videos because I was like super duper depressed without my grandmother. Like there were certain things, certain goals that I wanted to reach while she was still here so that she could see and experience the greatness along with me and then she passed and then after that like my passion, my drive, my ambition, it really died down. So I really had to dig deep within myself and then on top of that because I was in between jobs so much I didn't have like insurance so like I stopped taking my medication, my what I call my happy pills um, because I have... If you guys don't know, I have a BPD, bipolar depression, type 2, and OCD, anxiety. Just the list goes on, child. But I deal with my own mental issues. I deal with a lot of depression and mania and dissociation. So I need to have medication to keep me stable. So when I was in between jobs, it just made it worse that I wasn't on any medications. Plus, stopping abruptly from taking the medications puts a real damper on your spirit. So I had to get that shit right, y'all. So I'm back on my meds now. I'm doing good. So hopefully I'm able to prioritize my time better, be able to edit these videos, and not think too deep. Because that is another thing why I stopped making videos. I was thinking way too hard. I was overthinking. I was like, what is my audience going to want? I haven't been there in a while. Who is my target audience? What am I going to do? How am I going to progress this channel? 
um, what funny things can I say, what can I do to draw people in. Child, you would have thought I was about to drop the hottest mixtape of the summer, the way that I was thinking about it. Like, I'm talking about rollouts, previews, this, that, and the third. And as you can see, I'm done with the intro. We ain't doing no intro, we ain't doing no outro. What you get is what you get is me, and that's that. You don't like it, get the fuck off my page, and that's it, that's what it is. Just quick little updates. Um, like I said, I'm back in school trying to do what I gotta do. I don't wanna talk too much about it, but like what I'm trying to do is gonna take me a minute and it's gonna cost a lot of money. So I will be in more debt. We love more debt. Just keep accumulating more debt, more debt, more debt, more debt. But at the end of it all, I will clear it all, I will be fine. Um I actually wanna know what y'all think I'm going to school for. If y'all wanna leave comments in the comment section below, I'm not gonna really answer, but like I'm just curious to see what y'all think I'm going to school for. Just a disclaimer, my first degree, I went to film school. My degree is in film and journalism with a minor in philosophy. And as you can see, that ain't really paying out. That ain't really, that ain't really turned out how I wanted it to turn out. But it's okay, because I'm still writing scripts. I'm trying to shoot a movie. It's not gonna be this summer. It's probably gonna have to be next summer, but I'm working on the script right now. It's a short film. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be my old to Brooklyn and West Indian culture. Now, I'm not West Indian at all, but I did grow up in Brooklyn, born and raised in Brownsville, so... I have a lot of friends that are West Indian, and I just want to pay tribute to the people who raised me, the people around me, the people who show me love. So, like, I'm working on that. Um, also, I'm going to be reviewing movies, like, because, again, I have a film degree, so, like, that's what I want to do. I want to talk about movies, because it's a lot of bullshit that they putting out, and, like, y'all be eating that shit up. Like, the shit be trash. Like, and, like, you know what? I can't even say that y'all all be eating the shit up, because Twitter be doing these movies in, like... Those are my cats. Get down. Get down. Get down. He don't listen, y'all. He is bad. They is running around. They have the zoomies. Y'all got to get out. Y'all is messing me up. Hey. Ciao. Anyway, so. But I'm going to also need y'all to pray for me because one of the first classes I have to take is a goddamn math class. That's my preliminary class that I have to take. Y'all pray for me because if y'all know me, y'all know me and math is like oil and water. But guess what? I'm about to make that shit smooth as ever because I'm going to get my tutoring. I'm going to study every day. I'm going to go extra hard, extra hard, extra hard. And I want all my friends and I want my subscribers to keep me accountable. Please. I'm recording this to keep me accountable. But like... Overall, I'm in a better space. I don't want anybody like worried about me. A couple weeks ago, I was feeling really down. I was feeling like, you know, I was feeling like, you know, take that how you want. But um, I'm like I said, I'm back on my happy drugs. I'm back on my happy pills. So I'm doing a lot better. And I promise to be way more consistent this time. This video is literally just explaining why I've been going and what I plan on doing when I come back. Also, I plan on talking about hot topics hate to say it like that but you know and i'm not talking about celebrity shit because i really don't care because they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do that's not my tax bracket i i mind the business that pays me but if it comes to a social society structure yes i will talk about it um because a lot of the shit that people are portraying and a lot of the shit that people are spewing out that is going viral that is getting hot that is going big it's some bullshit and niggas be lying to you. And y'all, again, some of y'all be eating that shit up. That's why I said, without me here, y'all really been wilding. Like, y'all been wild, wilding the fuck out. Like, I understand summer is coming, but y'all really got to chill. Like, y'all got to put a fucking chill on it. Y'all got to press that chill button. Y'all got to relax. Like, but that's going to be it for this video. Um, so by the time you see this, it'll be Sunday. I am already cooking up another video as I am recording this video. So I plan on being more consistent. But I'm only going to promise at least two videos a month. I do have two jobs right now. I have two jobs. I'm about to be a full-time student. So I got a lot going on. But this is my way of documenting stuff. This is my way of keeping my mind clear. And this is my way of holding myself accountable. Real quick, before I go, I want to thank the subscribers. Some of the subscribers that have emailed me, reached out to me, and told me that they actually missed my videos. I really thank y'all and appreciate y'all. Because in my mind, I only got like two subscribers. You feel what I'm saying? I, I ain't nothing hot. I ain't nothing too big. You feel me? I'm mad humble. It's cool. Like, whoever gravitates towards me, gravitate towards me. If you don't, you don't. That's cool. Because, you know what? I be thinking about that, too, when it comes to my YouTube channel. Like, 
I really be thinking about it like, oh my God, who's going to like me? Who's going to dislike me? I, I, I like to be liked. I ain't going to hold you. I'm a Leo, big Leo. I'd rather be liked than to be hated. But at the same time, if I got to be the villain in your story to help you sleep at night, then by all means, you feel me? And with that being said, I just want to say um, thank you to those who reached out to me. Um, and, and you guys have definitely inspired me to keep going. Um, shout outs to my friends also. I don't really want to name drop y'all because there's actually a lot of y'all. Y'all know exactly who y'all are. And honestly, if if I'm correct, y'all will be commenting on this video anyways. Shout outs to y'all. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I don't want to take up too much time. I don't want to talk too much because I got shit cooking up. And I promise it's going to be good. All right? So, remember, key takeaways. Take a motherfucking chill pill. It's not the end of the world. Life goes on. You're going to make that money. You're going to be down. You're going to be up. You're going to be okay. Word to JT. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that was a proverb, all right? I used to be down bad, but now a bitch okay. That's going to be y'all, you feel me? And I'm using bitch unisexly. They, thems, hims, hers, bitches. Y'all is bitches, well, according to the song. You know what I'm trying to say. But um, anyways, yes. It's going to do it for this video. Again, I'm Naisha Minks. And that's been my video. Mm. Out of here. My kids are still fucking acting up, y'all. I got to go. I got to go. They fucking jumping off the ball, child.